rise royals all right welcome to the home of the twin flames you guys i am so happy to have you guys here all right now look i was trying to you know get some things situated on my desk and my cord knocked this card off of the top of this deck okay three of swords i was like it hit the floor and then i was like I was just going to put it straight back into the deck. And then I was like, just look at the card. Spirit wants you to look at the card. Three of Swords coming out. Okay. So I do feel like, um, yeah, yeah. Something happened in the past, you guys, with your connection where you felt like, you know, your person probably took a piece of your heart and just sliced straight through it. Okay. Like a piece of cake. Like a piece of cake. I'm here in Valentine's Day. For some of you, something could have happened. Okay? But we're going to just go ahead and dive straight into it. All right? We're going to see why this connection now, right after this very excruciating heartache is ready. Okay? Because that was the message that I was getting. You know, I didn't want to give you, you guys this message first. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want y'all to think that that's what the, the reading was going to be about. Okay? No, this reading is about a connection that is ready. Okay? Like ready, ready. <laughs> All right? The work has been put in. So who are we connecting with spirit? Okay? We got Leo here out here very very strong okay we got scorpio gemini aquarius sagittarius okay sagittarius is coming out strong too and then we have taurus okay so right now okay with the energy that is here all right leo and sagittarius is coming up very strong okay but don't worry because you can still resonate with the reading you guys all right this can be your you or your person, sun, moon, or rising, okay? Now let's go ahead and dive in and see what happened here in the past, just to give you a little bit of more clarification as to who this is, okay? I hope you guys are doing good. All right. Okay, Spirit, take me in. Take me in. Who is this person? Nine of Swords, somebody that can't sleep. Somebody that can't sleep, somebody that's thinking about this connection, probably in this very second, right? Because we got the clock here. You see that clock? Right? We got a clock here. We got somebody that is getting headaches through the night. They're not getting good sleep. If you think this person is th sleeping through the night, they are not. They're not. Okay? They're not. Okay? Because they want to... Um, they want to be able to have some type of victory, right? Have some type of celebration here with you. You know, cheers to the good life. I'm hearing cheers to the good life. Okay, I don't know why cheers to the good life is coming up. But, you know, the three of cups is all about, you know, um, a gathering, right? For a celebration, you know, maybe this person is hoping that, you know, if they gather some people together, you know, they can celebrate the fact that that you and this person are now back together. OK, this is who that person is. OK, this is also someone. What is this? A Ten of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, this was a burden. This was a burden. This person's life, this person's past life was a huge burden on them. I feel like your person had to carry a lot on their back, right? They either had a lot of responsibilities or just a lot of, um, you know, maybe people that they're taking care of. You know, I feel like this person took on way too much way too much and then when you came into this person's life it was just like oh my god i got all this stuff going on now you know love wants to smack me in the face you know love wants to come around now okay that's how i feel like your person felt and then we got the ten of pentacles so we got two tens out here you guys ten ten you could be seeing ten ten okay the ten of pentacles is a very wealthy card y'all all right I do 444 four, four on the clock. Wow. Wow. Synchronicity is just popping in and up out of this reading. Okay. So I feel like your person, your person sees a life with you that is very wealthy. Okay. 
that's what I'm picking up. They, they see a life with you that is very wealthy, okay? This person knows that you are their twin flame. Look at this. My four, um, four of wands card coming out. That is crazy, okay? And then we have cats here. We have a black cat. We have an orange cat. And we also have some type of either beige or white cat. Okay, somebody could have all three of these cats, but cats are very significant here. Maybe somebody is a cat lover, okay? A tea drinker, a coffee drinker, I'm also picking that up, okay? Mm, all right, let's see. Let's see, we got the page of swords. <laughs> you know, I feel like when this person is in their bed at night, okay, because they can't sleep, they can't, they're watching you, okay? They're laying up in the middle of the night, you know, with all of these thoughts that just bombard them. You know, these thoughts of what they did and how they need to make it right. And so guess what they do? They hop on social media to go look at your pictures or to go see what you have recently posted, okay? Or, um, mm-hmm. Mm. or just to even look at your old posts. I'm hearing that they're, they're even like going way, way back a few years. <laughs> okay. Okay. This person is not playing. Yeah. There's justice. There needs to be justice here. See that so something wasn't fair, especially with this, uh, this three of swords out here. There was something here in this connection that was not very fair to you, specifically Divine Feminine, right? Maybe this person made a decision, right? Um, it says proclamation, right? Now know ye... Okay, I can't read all that. By Her Majesty's command. Yeah, there's definitely something here that... um that's going to be made right okay that's what i'm hearing there's something here that's going to be made right let's go into why this has made a major turnaround <laughs> because i need to know why um spirit is saying that this connection you have with your person is ready ready okay oh it's ready ready okay let's go in spirit let's go and take me in Thank you. This connection is ready, ready. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So I'm hearing for some of you, maybe you could have been friends with this person first, right? It started off as a um a friend's connection. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 both really truly started off as friends, and then it just really grew into something really beautiful okay i'm also hearing that friends could have been the reason why this connection um did not move any further okay but spirit why is this connection ready ready now okay right because spirit is saying that this person this person is cutting they cutting them out could be friends that this person needs to cut out Okay, maybe you were like, look, I know you don't know these people for a long time, but these people are toxic as AF, right? Toxic AF, <laughs> right? And so now your person's in an energy where they're like, yeah, I cut so-and-so off. Like, it's crazy that I had to lose you in order to realize that they're the ones that needed to go. You know, they're the ones that wasn't respecting me. They're the ones that that didn't respect you. The person that I was in love with, the person that I was with. Right. So I feel like this person definitely had to uh, stop a pattern here. I feel like for some of you, this person had a friend that just tried to ruin every single connection. This person has has, you know come across even if it wasn't you know anything romantic it was it was even just like you know your person wanting to be friends with other people there's somebody in your person's energy that tried to stop this 
always. They always tried to stop this. So why is this connection ready, ready, spirit? Because spirit is saying that divine timing has served its purpose here, right? Divine timing was at play. Divine timing was, you know, what you two had to really, really, really sit there and go, okay, I got to just let this thing play out. You know what I'm saying? I just got to let this thing play out and let it do what it's going to do. And, you know, however spirit is going to bring this back together, spirit is going to bring it back together. And I really feel like you two really just took a step back, worked on yourself, you know, and now spirit is saying, oh, you ready, ready. Look at this secret admirer. I'm trying to tell you that they're watching. <laughs> this person is watching you. I'm also hearing for some of you, you really have a secret admirer. Okay. You have somebody that is interested in you, but they're very timid, right? They, and you're not going to know that they like you because they don't show the signs. <laughs> so why is this connection ready, ready spirit? Okay. This connection is ready because the golden mirror is here. Okay. Okay. I feel like, um, you know, at one point in time, especially with this justice out here, this story was very one-sided. You know what I'm saying? This person held up the mirror to themselves and all they could see was uh, their side of the story. Okay. They didn't see you in this mirror. They didn't see that you guys, you know what I'm saying, uh, belong together at that time. Okay. But they see it now. <laughs> they see it now, you know, they're holding up that mirror and that mirror is showing them exactly who they are and who they've been. Okay. So why is this connection ready, ready spirit, right? Because spirit is saying there is a healing heart here. Okay. See, look, we got toxicity or addictions. That's what was here in the past, right? Some type of abusive relationship, right? But now your person is in a healing heart okay your person is healing their heart and so and that's just crazy that these two cards we have a cake that's shaped like a heart and we got cookies that's shaped like a heart so yeah there were several hearts broken here okay we do have three swords which tells me you know definitely a third party was here you know what i'm saying but it's just like uh, there was heartache after heartache after heartache and somebody eventually just had to put a stop to this. You know what I'm saying? Like there had to be a stop to this thing. It had to be. Right? Mm, okay. So why is this connection ready, ready? I see somebody, you know, was in a very toxic relationship and is now healing their heart. Okay. Okay. But I also see somebody that is a single parent. Okay. Your person understands, okay, not every divine feminine is going to be a single parent here, but I do feel like there's quite a few of you here, okay, on this reading. If you are a single parent, you know what I'm saying? I want you to drop uh, zero, zero, zero down in the comments below, baby, because you're not about to be doing this thing called single parenting forever. All right. Because you're about to come into a very connection and a very, um, endless bond that you have. Okay. Is about to show up for you and your person. Okay. This endless bond, this, um, what is it called? This infinite love that you have for your person and your person has for you. This energy is about to show up in your life. Okay. So if you claim that, hit that zero, zero, zero. Okay. In the comments below, look at this. Look. <gasps> oh. Did ex lover just come out with old spark? I'm trying to tell you. This is an ex lover. Okay, this for some of you was started off as a friend. This was a best friend. This was your best friend. 
okay and it grew into something more for some of you you know you just had a very close bond with this person that you know you called this person your best friend okay even if y'all didn't start off like that this person still has the spark for you you know and it's giving me very very romantic vibes this is okay so yeah, yeah, if you feeling if you feeling all kinds of sexy energy coming towards you, go to the comment section, okay, and click on my Patreon so that y'all you guys can, you know, get some more of your person's energy over there, okay? It's completely different energy over there than it is here on my YouTube channel. Okay? Mm. Why is this connection ready ready? Ooh clarifying clarifying where is it clarifying the four wands do y'all see that twin flame <laughs> this is a yin yang balance you guys okay union and duality right you guys complement each other that's what spirit's saying all right and you guys could be polar opposites, <clears throat> right? One could be tall, one could be short, one could be dark, one could be light, one could be, you know, uh, speak this type of language. The other one could speak that type of language. One could have, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, blue hair. The other one could have pink hair. Who knows? Okay, polar opposites. You guys may come from different backgrounds, religions, all of that. Okay, that's what spirit is saying. Give me some more energy, spirit. Why is this connection ready, ready? Right? Mm. Because I feel like this person learned, you guys. It says cheating, broken trust. Okay? Ain't doing nothing but clarifying the three of swords. Okay, so somebody cheated here. Okay, somebody cheated. And this is why they can't sleep. Because they knew you were faithful. And they can't live with themselves. Knowing that. Right? This was such a burden on your person. To hold that from you. Right? To know what they were doing. Okay? Huh. But you know, um, when spirit want two people to be together, guess what it's going to be? <laughs> Especially a twin flame. Guess what it's going to be? Nothing comes in the way of twin flames. Nothing. Look at this love. Unfreaking conditional love. There's unconditional love here. <laughs> Selflessness. Wasn't I talking about that in my last freaking video? Selflessness. <clears throat> it's rolling over, you guys. It's been doing that for a minute. It's been doing that for a minute. So... You know, if you guys uh, are resonating with this energy, go watch my drop top reading. Okay, that's before this one. I think I have a red, uh, a red scarf on my head. But I was talking about how selfless you are, Divine Feminine. And you really, really, truly are. And that is why, you know, this thing was able to uh, hang in there, right? Why is this connection ready, ready, spirit? Spirit said, because this connection is ready for new beginnings. There's going to be a uh, transition here. It ended tragically? Okay, this is a coffin, right? This could be a connection where you're just like, ain't no way. This is dead, dead. This is dead. This ain't, this is not coming back to life. <laughs> But guess what? If spirit saying it's coming back to life, it's coming back to life. It's coming back to life. You're going to feel like you're in paradise with this person. Okay? After spirit is, after all is said and done, spirit is going to show you how things can very quickly shift. Give me some more energy, spirit. Why is this connection ready, ready? Because somebody is a teddy bear, right? Somebody is very flirty. <coughs> Somebody wants a date with you. 
right? They're interested, okay? I'm also picking up that this could be the secret admirer for somebody, you know? So maybe for some of you, you're moving away from a toxic connection and you're going to be meeting up with this secret admirer that is going to be this big teddy bear, this person that you can squeeze on and lean on and kiss on and, 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 and cuddle on. That's what I'm saying. Take that ass to my Patreon, okay? Hit that, hit that 18 plus button in the comment section so you can get some more insights to as how this person is thinking and feeling about you in, you know, an intimate way. Okay, because for some of you, you haven't, you haven't even slept with this person. Okay, that's just for some of y'all. Put the energy where it go, y'all. Put it, put, put it where it go. Is there anything else, spirit? Oh, this gonna come as a shock. <laughs> y'all ain't even ready for this. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all aren't gonna expect this. Look, shock. Y'all aren't gonna expect this, right? Because this is how it feels. <laughs> It feels like a coffin. It feels like it's dead. It feels like there's no reviving this. But guess what, baby? Mm. Somebody's done had an epiphany. Okay? Somebody is about to make a, 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 a transformation. Okay? This is going to be shocking news for a lot of your friends and family members. Like, what? When did y'all get back together? <laughs> And how did this happen? You know, but I feel like Divine Feminine, you have a very supportive family. Okay. And they're going to support you no matter what you do. Okay. So I don't think you have anything to worry about, you guys. I love this. I love, 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 love this reading. Okay. Oh, I love this reading. Um, Yeah, I'm going to leave this reading here. I'm going to leave it here. I want to get y'all a channel song, though. Get y'all channel song. Spirit, what song do you want my royals to okay end up with? What is this? Midnight? Iman Omari. Okay, we also have Fool for You by Yuna. And then we also have Marry You by Ice Prince. Uh, need I say more? <laughs> Need I say more, you guys? Okay? So, yeah. If you resonated with any of this, be sure to hit that like button for you girls. The easiest way to support the channel better yet. Share the video with someone you feel may need the message, you guys. All right? If you need uh, personal readings and stuff like that, you guys already know where to find it. Okay? You can find it in the description box below this video. I love you guys so so much it's your favorite goddess goddess platinum and i'm out